All right, so our goal for you as an individual is to create a balance in fitness. Uh, and you may have heard this many a times. Um, and for most part, people can't really describe exactly what a balance of fitness is. Uh, and sometimes we'll just describe it maybe as an improvement in strength, an improvement in conditioning or fitness, uh, endurance, power, speed, accuracy, agility, coordination, balance, all of that. Uh, and those things are important, but what we've done is we've gone and, and made them more specific. Uh, so we have a look at strength. Uh, what does it mean to be strong? Uh, and you can be strong in one particular movement, but not strong in a different movement. Uh, be strong upper body, but not strong lower body. Uh, and then just in terms of balance and joints, uh, although uh, you might be strong in one particular movement, the joint might become unstable because you're not strong enough in a different movement or in a, an opposing uh, movement. So what we've done is we've got different levels for different movements. Uh, so we've taken strength apart, breaking it into different constituents, different movements, and we can kind of evaluate you on those different types of strength. Uh, so we're looking at creating a balance within those different strengths. Uh, and then also uh, within fitness as well, uh, we talk about improving fitness or conditioning or uh, endurance. Uh, and so what we've done is we've taken parts of those aspects of fitness and broken them down even further. Uh, and so we can test them and see how those things improve over time. So pretty much in the last series or phase of our programming, we've been working on a couple of things. Uh, once again, the whole idea is to create a balance within those different movements and within the different uh, strengths and uh, conditioning pieces. Um, what we usually do at the beginning of a phase is identify where our group is at in terms of our members. Uh, and within the last phase, pretty much what we identified was we needed to improve uh, single leg strength. Uh, so you guys were really strong uh, squatting, really good squatters, but when it comes to uh, uh, using that strength on just one leg, uh, then it's a different thing. So we wanted to improve that um, uh, single leg work, single leg strength. We wanted to improve upper body uh, pushing and pulling ability. Uh, so we found a lot specifically with the ladies, but even so uh, with the guys, relative to lower body strength, uh, most of you were weaker upper body relative to lower body. So you can squat really well, squat your body weight, uh, but it may be difficult to do you know, full push-ups or full pull-ups uh, or be able to do a ring dip with your body weight. Uh, so we wanted to improve those, uh, those aspects. Uh, and then also the core, just uh, abdominal strength and endurance. And so we had a couple of tests for that. And uh, those were our main focuses, main keys with still touches on improving and maintaining the other strengths like lower body strength, uh, deadlifts, things like that. Uh, what we saw within the last phase, um, our single leg work, we had some huge improvements uh, where people were struggling to balance on the box and do, and do single leg lunges, uh, now able to do uh, body weight uh, with added dumbbells uh, and even uh, certain percentages of body weight, which is awesome. Uh, upper body strength in terms of pushing and pulling. So we saw a lot of ladies uh, really struggling to be able to do two or three push-ups, uh, full body push-ups. Uh, and now when we do the push-up repeat test, um, scoring in excess of 10 repetitions at a time. Uh, and that's like super strict push-ups. So I'm really, really happy with that. Uh, even with the guys in terms of dipping, uh, doing uh, weighted dips, I would used to be able to get to body weight dips. So we were used, utilizing bands in the past. Uh, we can now use either body weight or even add additional weight on top of that, which is great. Uh, pulling. So we had a couple ladies uh, that got their first pull-ups, uh, strict pull-ups in the last uh, phase, which is fantastic. Uh, and that's obviously what we're working towards. Um, it's great that the ladies can squat and deadlift um, percentages or even full body weight. Uh, we want to be able to match that strength with the upper body as well. Uh, and same thing for the guys. Saw some guys getting their pull-ups uh, and being able to add weight to that. <clears throat> the core, uh, we did the, the side plank holds. Uh, so a lot of you struggle to hold, you know, a minute and a half on either side. Um, most of you quite easily doing that. Almost everyone was able to do that, with a few exceptions, obviously, if you're kind of new to it as well. Uh, and then even the Tabata sit-ups, uh, some great improvements on there, moving up uh, one or two levels, which is awesome. Uh, in terms of the conditioning, our goal was to create a balance. Uh, so balance between the short, hard, fast stuff and the long, slow and enduring stuff. Uh, and we kind of saw improvements on all of that. Uh, if we have a look at the air down test that we did, uh, the 30 seconds air down test uh, sprint repeats. Um, first of all, in terms of front end power, so that first number that you guys put out, uh, those numbers were increasing, which was fantastic. Um, and even more so importantly is the 
the drop-off that we found from the first number, your highest number, to the lowest number. Uh, those drop-offs were a lot less, which for me is an indication that you guys are not only becoming powerful and stronger, but also being able to endure uh, better, uh, specifically on a, on a power aspect. So power endurance is what I'm talking about. Um, we saw some improvements on muscle endurance. Uh, so once again, coming back to that push-up repeat, uh, push repeat test, uh, and then also the pull-up repeat test, uh, so the unbroken strict pull-ups that we did. Um, and then also the, the conditioning piece, the 75 wall balls for time, uh, where a lot of you guys were breaking those reps up quite a, quite a bit. Uh, I think there were one or two that did them unbroken. Um, and then when you guys were doing it, you were breaking them up in less, uh, into smaller sets as well. So you weren't taking as many sets or as much rest in between. Uh, as we move forward, uh, what are we looking at? What have we seen in the testing? Um, over and above, obviously, all those improvements. Um, just to kind of name a few, we saw uh, 10 ladies hit over 100 kilos on the deadlift, uh, which is really, really exciting. Uh, and I don't think everybody that um, everybody tested their deadlift. Uh, and these also for ladies that um, we haven't actually been working on the deadlifts. Um, we've been working obviously on, on the cleans and the power cleans. Uh, so that speed is obviously coming through. So it's nice to see those numbers go up. Squatting numbers on some of you went up, some of them went down. Uh, once again, although it's not a focus, um, one needs to remember that not everything can go up all the time. Uh, and so we need to focus and prioritize uh, and spend time on specific things to create the balance and then from there bring everything up. Uh, moving forward, we're going to continue working on the upper body pushing and pulling, uh, specifically for the ladies. We want to get stronger in those push-ups. Uh, we want to get more ladies doing the body weight ring dips and also pull-ups. Uh, for you guys that haven't got those yet, we also want to improve those. Uh, and then also those that have weighted stuff, uh, weighted pull-ups, uh, weighted ring dips, we want to get those numbers up uh, higher relative to body weight. Uh, we want to continue maintaining touches uh, and improvements on lower body, um, lower body strength, so improving on the squats, front squat, back squat, uh, improving on the deadlifts. We want to see those power cleans still improving uh, relative to all the other numbers. Um, we're going to see a lot more inclusion of muscle endurance training. Uh, we, we included a little bit of that in our, uh, our last phase, and we've seen some really good results with that. Uh, so we kind of tweak that a little bit and see uh, if we can squeeze a little bit more out of that to develop uh, a improvement of strength uh, and then also uh, muscle endurance. Um, next up, uh, we'll continue working on, on balancing those energy systems. Uh, so the short, hard, fast stuff. Uh, and then also the long, slow, steady work, and everything in between. Um, the idea of what CrossFit is, creating that balance from one end of the spectrum to the other end. Um, all right, so coming to the uh, levels, we've got different levels. If you have a look at our programming, level one, level two, level three, for pulling, pushing, bending, squatting, single leg work, core. Um, and the reasons for this, uh, there's different reasons. One, to identify weaknesses or imbalances. Uh, so our first goal for you is to create a balance across all those numbers. So ideally, if you're coming in, starting with us, we want to see that everything's one, 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 one. Um, and those things that aren't there, we need to make sure that those need to be improved. Um, once everything's in balance, then what we're going to do is bring everything up together. Um, you know, uh, go from a level one to level two, and level two to level three, and then level three beyond. Um, in terms of the programming, um, obviously you see we've got different levels for the programming and this makes it a lot more specific to where you are at at this point in time. So instead of saying, well, let's just make it lighter for you or grab yourself a band for the pull-ups uh, or do less repetitions, uh, we want to be more specific. So within each different movement, we've got a goal for you. If you're on a level one on one specific movement, our goal on that movement is to get you to level two. Um, and if you're on a level two, then to get you to level three, and if you're on a level three, to move you to the next level. Um, and so the programming programming needs to be specific to those levels. Uh, so to give you an example, um, if we're looking at pull-ups, uh, for those of you that don't have pull-ups, all right, in order to get you to do a strict pull-up, is going to require something very different to somebody that's already got pull-ups, and then we want to get either more pull-ups or a heavier weighted pull-up. Um, the training for that is going to look very, or well, not very, but somewhat different. Uh, and so we want to be very specific when we do program that for you and where you're at so that we can give you the best, the best opportunity to improve uh, or, or the quickest opportunity to improve to the next level, obviously on those different movements. Uh, so there's that. Other option, uh, the other 
Example of that would be the deadlift uh, and the power clean. So for those of you that are relatively new with us um, or haven't done a lot of power cleans, uh, we want to ensure that you've got sufficient back and core strength to be able to maintain certain positions. Uh, so before we start teaching you the power clean, we're going to make sure that you've got sufficient strength in the deadlift. Uh, can you deadlift certain weight relative to your body weight? Uh, and if yes, then we know you've got the requisite strength to be able to handle a slightly more complex movement like the power clean. Um, moving forward, next thing is uh, just I'm going to talk, chat a little bit about the open, uh, the CrossFit Open, uh, and what that's going to look like during the next five weeks. Uh, what's going to happen is uh, CrossFit HQ will announce a workout uh, every Thursday, uh, starting on the 26th of February. Uh, that'll happen early South African, uh, early South African time. Um, as a group, as an affiliate, we're going to be hosting um, the CrossFit Open every Friday evening. Um, that will start at 5.30, so half past five in the evening. Um, and pretty much what we're going to do, all of those that are uh, registered for the Open, uh, we're going to get together, we're going to do some heats, we're going to judge each other, we're going to have some fun, we're going to throw it down, cheer each other on. Uh, if you're not competing, uh, number one, I recommend that you do register and compete. Um, at the moment, there is now a scaled version, so you absolutely have no excuse not to not to compete or not, or not to take part. Uh, it's not so much about competing, but it's just about taking part uh, within this community, um, not just within the ballistics CrossFit community, but within the CrossFit community in, uh, at large. Um, so yeah, we want you to compete, and if you're not competing, then come along, support support the rest of your box members. It's a really awesome event, um, and you'll find some things, uh, learn some things along the way that you might not within a normal class setting. So that's always great. Um, the schedule will change. So as, as I mentioned, it's going to start at half past five on Friday afternoons. Uh, what that means is our, our evening session, our quarter past five on a Friday, will fall away. And then... <clears throat> So yeah, if you are usually come in at that session, then sign up for the open, and then you can do your workout there. Problem solved. Um, for those of you that are doing the advanced barbell uh, and strength bias uh, programming, uh, that will also change. The times and days will change for that. So as opposed to a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, we're now going to switch it up. It's going to be a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, we'll do three three days in a row. Thursday will be our recovery day, um, our easy aerobic session, and then Friday you'll come in. Uh, and then do the open workout. Um, for those that aren't in those classes, the other classes, uh, not huge changes, we'll just shift some of the, the training around, whereas normally our Wednesday workouts will be our longer, slower, recovery, easy, pa um, easy paced workouts. Uh, we're going to shift those to a Thursday. For those that want to compete, uh, take part in the open, that'll give you some time to recover from, from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions, you're more than welcome to contact me. Uh, it's neil at ballisticsfitness.com. That's neil, N-E-I-L. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, chat to myself, Ryan. Um, we can definitely help you out. Cool.